All right, hey guys, I'm back. Let's quickly talk about navigation. Uh, Maya, I think this is pretty uh, intuitive. I actually like Maya's, one of the best. Uh, I'm going to throw a cube in there real quick. Uh, F to frame, uh, the Alt key, and left mouse button is the rotate. The Alt key and the middle mouse button is the pan. Alt key and right is the zoom. Uh, pretty standard. This is actually used in a ton of other packages now also because it's actually really good. Uh, the difference is now in Blender, I actually use the three button mouse for a couple of reasons. I use a Wacom tablet quite a bit, and I also, um, if you switch over to three button mouse and switch to a horizontal zoom in Blender, it works exactly like it does in Lightwave. So to me, that's uh, that fit me because I've used Lightwave so much, but it is um, a little bit different because I'm having to switch my finger uh, quite often from the control to the shift key in order to pan and zoom. I won't go through those uh, controls because you don't really need to know them. I just know that uh, th it's all about the same. I actually like my eyes better. Other than one thing, um, and that is that uh, Blender has like a hands-free or a one-handed uh, rotate, which is your middle mouse button. So I, actually, I can actually release everything and just push my middle mouse button and rotate around the object, which is kind of nice. I do this actually often when I'm eating lunch at my desk. And I'm like eating a sandwich, and I want to just look around my object and kind of view it. I, Lightwave has the same kind of thing, but it's a button inside the interface that you can just click and, and then rotate around. Maya doesn't have that, unfortunately, um, but uh, it's not the end of the world. That's not really a big deal. Uh, F key again. Look at my notes real quick. Uh, let's see what else I was going to talk about. Uh, the quad views. Uh, this is kind of cool. A quick way to switch orthographic... Um, views. It's not quite as fast as Blender, but uh, you can hit the space bar and go into a quad view, go to or put your cursor over the view you want to see. This is the top here. And hit your space bar again and you will be in that view. So it's just space bar, uh, cursor over, space bar, cur you know. Uh, so the only problem I have with this is the fact that I lose, um, I really want to have this view here where I have a, an outliner and I have the ability to jump around, but if you notice, I hit spacebar in here, and it just gets rid of my outliner. If I was in the outliner, it would just do a full screen outliner, which is kind of dumb. So you have to be in this quad view um, to do this. Um, as for anything that I'm talking about, if there is another solution that you guys know about, you my guys, please, please let me know, because um, uh, I am absolutely open for uh, those kind of suggestions. Um, and of course here um, we use the number keys in Blender 1, 3, and 7 for the top, uh, 1 for the front, uh, 3 for the side, 7 for the top. Anytime you want to get out of these all you have to do is rotate. Um, at that time I just grabbed the middle mouse button and moved but you know alt whatever uh, will pull you right out of one of those orthographic views. You've noticed that I use a, uh, this is a setting in the in the setup, I use an automatic ortho so as soon as I hit 1, 3, or 7, it automatically goes into uh, a proper orthographic view, whereas when I start to rotate, it goes back into a perspective um, perspective camera. Uh, so that works really fast. You can also, what is it, Alt, Alt and Up, no, it's Control. Control and Up Arrow will, will full screen uh, if you have a ton of stuff going on, like you got a bunch of, you know, you've made your own quad, basically. So our version of that, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Our version of that um, space bar is a control up arrow, which will full screen whatever you're doing. If you want to hit the T key and get rid of that, you'll see how that how that works. Uh, and you can put these together. I think Blender's use of uh, these panels is just... It's just freaking brilliant. Uh, I am usually have my own little setup that's like crazy, you know, views that uh, you could build it your way. Maya does not do that. It's it's actually really difficult. You can't dock, you know, you can't dock menus. And you get you end up having a lot of floating uh, windows hanging around. So um, that's about it for this one. Uh, I want to try to keep these to 10 minutes. Um, so uh, let's jump in the next one and talk more about the tools.